hello good day viewers you are highly welcome uh, into this tutorial today we are going to be solving this beautiful uh, olympiad problem uh, this is very interesting question so i would like you to stay focused and uh, give me your full attention so that we can solve this together right so we have 5 to power k minus 3 to power k equals uh, 544 so where k is the variable what we are looking for so now here what are we going to do so we are going to be manipulating right so let's let's see so now from here i can write this 5k to be by writing as you know if i said a and i said root a to power 2 and to consider this is actually going to give me a because this square will cancel out this square root and i'm going to be having a here so now let's see i'm going to apply this here now okay i'm going to apply that here so i can say that 5k root 5k then all squared minus here again root 3k all squared equals 544 do you understand now so now let's move on you can see that if i do that so automatically what i'm saying is that if this square this square can actually cancel the square root and i'm going to obtain my 5k and here the same thing i'm going to obtain my 5k so now from there let n equals the root of 5k and r to be what the root of 3 to power k so which is telling us that anywhere we see okay root 5 to power k and root 3 to power k will replace with it n and r respectively so we're going to be having the equation to be n squared minus r squared then equals this so now from there so what do you think we can do from here so we can see that the left hand side now is in the form of what of what we call difference of two square when you have a squared minus b squared we're going to rewrite it as a minus b then a plus b that is difference of two squares so therefore we're going to apply the same thing here i'm going to be having n minus what n minus r n plus r so we should that we factorize the left hand side so now factorizing this so let's see how we can factorize the uh, right hand side too so i can factorize the right hand side of this that is 544 can be splitted or expressed as the product of 13 uh, 16 and 34 so therefore i'm going to replace this with 16 multiplied by what 34 so now the next thing we are going to do now is that we can see that we factorize the both sides of this equation now so therefore let's do the comparison and see which one uh, which one we equal to each other so as we can see this is negative here we have positive here automatically we know that uh, for example let's say we let n to be equals 2 and r to be equals uh, 1 from both sides of this uh, from this if I have n minus r, we know that I'm going to be having 2 minus 1 and that will give me 1. But if I say n plus r, I'm going to be having 2 plus 1, which this will give me 3. So as you can see from here, sorry, as you can see from here, I have n minus 3, 2 minus 1 give me 1, n plus 3, 2 plus 1 give me. So this is telling us that n plus r is greater than n minus r. Do you understand now so so far we have that so we can also say 34 is greater than what 16 do you understand so therefore n plus 3 will be equals to 34 and n minus r is going to be what is going to be uh, 16 so now from there so we can now have that is n plus r equals 34 and what n minus r equals what equals 16 i following let me call this equation one and this is what equation two 
So we are going to solve this one simultaneously and see what you're going to have. So now from there, if we try to add the both sides of this equation, so you can see that we're going to have 2n r will be eliminated because r minus r is going to give us 0. Then also we have 34 minus 16. Then 34 plus 16 rather, and that's going to give us 50. Okay, so now from here we have 2n equals 50. So we try to divide both sides by 2. So you can see that n equals what? n equals 25. So now we have n equals to 25. So now we want to get the uh, the next you know, value, which is r. So now let's employ n equals 5, n equals 25 into any of the equation. So I'm going to be picking uh, the equation 2 because it is simpler, right? So we are going to have put what? Put n equals 25 in what? Equation 2, right? So I'm going to be having 25 minus r equals what? 16. So this implies that r is going to be to be what? We have r to be equals 9, right? So therefore, we have what? We have n to be 25 here and I have r to be 9 here. Yeah. But don't forget that we are not actually looking for the value of n and r. So n and r, they are just domain variable, which we just introduced. So to make sure we have a beautiful, you know, uh, solution. So now we're going to recall from there, we're going to recall, we're going to recall, recall that, recall. If you want to recall here, you can see that we let n to be what? Root 5k and r to be root 3k. Okay, so root 3k. So what we need to do now is that we replace. So when n, we have 25 to be n, okay, equals 5k, right, root. So now if you want to get this one, let's square the both sides. You can see that this square root, we cancel this, we have 5 to power k equals. This 25 can be written as 5 to power 2. Then you can see that this is having 2 before. So this implies that k equals 4. Right, k equals four because when you try to compare the uh, the basis of this equation, we can see that two times two will give us four. Then, since the bases are the same, so from the law of uh, exponents, so we are going to equate the powers. That's why I have k to be four. So now let's try to see whether we are going to get the same uh, solution. So when you look at the other for r, so when r is nine. We have this, we want to look do it from here. We're going to have root three, you know, k. Okay. So now to do that, you're going to square the both sides. Square. So you can see that this square we cancel the square root. We're going to have three to power k equals this is going to be this nine can be written as three to power two dot two. So you can see that since the bases are the same two. We have to equate the powers 2.2 .2, where you have k to be what? k to be 4. Do you understand now? So we have k equals 4. So now let's now check whether what we have is right or not. So let's come here. Check. Check. So we have 5m minus what? 3m equals what? 544. So now from here. So we can see that putting the value of m here, we have 5 to power 4 minus 3 to power 4. So 5 to power 4 is going to give us what? 5 to power 4, that will give us 625. Then minus 3 to power 4, 3 to power 4, that will give us 81. So now try to take away 81 from 625. So we're going to have 544. Can you see? So therefore, we are right. And that's the end of the class. If you find the class very interesting, please kindly share this class to your colleagues so they can benefit from it. 
and also if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel consider subscribing today hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you bye bye